Hello one and all and welcome to my video. This has come out a lot earlier than I anticipated but I have been so inspired with all the Minecraft videos going about that I just had to join in because one, Minecraft design wise I like in a lot of ways. I'm terrible at the actual game because I constantly die and get snuck up on by enemies so creative mode is definitely my jam and when something becomes so popular it just becomes inspiring in a sense depending on what it is not everything that becomes popular is um you know gonna inspire you artistically that's for sure but anyway uh today i'm going to be drawing for you uh the creeper of minecraft but with a twist i'm going to combine minecraft monsters and enemies together and i'm really looking forward to this because i'm doing my two favorite creatures in minecraft the creeper in all its glory and the witch i will combine them together to create the most beautiful or maybe the most abominable creature in minecraft and so i'm starting off just drawing uh the creeper in my style because i really wanted to and i mainly wanted to because i want to make him super fluffy or it super fluffy uh, and fuzzy just like the um, creeper plushies and because I've seen a lot of theory videos where the creeper is actually a plant that explodes its spores at you um, which I think is really cool I always like stuff like that especially when it comes to character designs but there's always something that's really freaked me out the creeper is so emotionless it reminds me of Parasect from Pokemon and so I decided to give it very hollowed out eyes and a mouth so it looks like the brain inside of it isn't really working it's just kind of moving to the closest object that it can in order to release its spores so in a sense the creeper doesn't mean to explode on you it just wants to give you all of its spores and if you get too many creeper spores on you maybe you become a creeper well, maybe that only works if it explodes next to pigs, considering its origin. I find it really funny that the uh, literal mistake when creating Minecraft, uh, as I believe the creeper was actually a deformed pig glitch when they were creating the game, and it's just become one of the most iconic, uh, lovable, and hated creatures in all of Minecraft. I gotta say, it's been a long time since I've played Minecraft. I think I played it f a few times when it first came out. This has got to be like 10 years ago. Uh, and I've only just started playing it again. I bought it for my uh, PS4. Granted, I haven't had much time to play it. Um, and I'm constantly asking my little sister for advice on how to not die. Uh, she's found my multiple deaths in Minecraft very entertaining. I much prefer creative mode because I can unleash the creativity of the block land. So with my creeper design I wanted to make him super fluffy like the moss plant that I feel he's based off and I think I did a really good job. He looks so cute and fluffy and he wants you to love him. He wants hugs and loves and cuddles because he's fuzzy. He doesn't mean to explode on you and get you covered in his spores, but he will anyway. And you will continue to love him for it anyway. Him, it, plant, I don't know. Uh, I don't believe creepers have reproductive the same way as... Well, I guess you can tell the difference between... Is there such a thing as the difference between male and female flowers? I don't know. Let's not get into that. Let's... And so now I am going to combine the creeper with the witch enemy 
from Minecraft. I've got two little reference pictures here, thank you Google once again, for giving me the power of references. And I'm kind of just following through with my sketch because I really like how the sketch turned out. And the little pose is just so adorable. He's so confident now he has the power of magic and potions. So he's just like, onward, I will defeat you. Um, when it came to styling the body, I wanted to keep the legs super fluffy like the creeper, uh, but I wanted to give it a more smooth head and body, resembling that of the witch. I also gave it the Squidward nose, because the Squidward nose is what makes the witches magical. And I obviously had to give the creeper witch? Witcher? Creeper? I don't know. Name this cre- na <laughs> Name this creation in the comments below, because I don't know what I'm going to call it. But anyway, I did have to give it the greatest of all purple capes in order to just show off how majestic and magical it is. As well as a very fancy hat of the witch's um, style. Overall, I'm really liking how this design is coming out so far. Um, and I... I wanted to give a few more uh, homages to the witch's original design, so I ended up keeping the monobrow that they are so famous for, and I'm going to turn the nose, the magical Squidward nose, into a, uh, a fluffy nose instead of just one with a boil on it. This way it has multiple bumps because it's a bush. I was really happy with the pose, so I wanted to uh, emphasize how happy the creeper witch would feel now that it actually has magical abilities with the power of potions. Uh, so I know it seems strange considering the this creature doesn't have arms but it has potions wrapped around its body um, and it can somehow use them and throw them at enemies. I don't know how. I'm gonna say they're exploding potions or maybe the creature has Telepathy. Is it telepathy? Telekinesis, I believe it's called. Telekinesis. Um, and it can throw the exploding magical potions at enemies and win fights and not die for a change, which is a good deal. No one wants to go into battle and die. That would not be fun. Not fun at all. When it came to choosing the uh, colours for the character, I definitely wanted to keep the main colours of purple and green. Uh, considering there are a lot of different uh, shades of green that's going to be used, I wanted to choose a purple that would contrast well with them, so it would be dark but not super dark where it looks almost black. Uh, and I ended up toning down the hat uh, a little more and giving it more of a greyish black. Um, and that way uh, it wouldn't contrast uh, or affect too many of the darker greens that would be within the creeper's design. I also changed up I also changed up the hat a little bit, giving it a nice bright shiny emerald uh, in the shape of a diamond instead of its normal square because we like to spruce up stuff around here on this channel, give our creatures a little extra bling. Um, as I was saying earlier, the creepers remind me a lot of uh, Parasect from Pokemon where they have like hollow eyes and so I wanted to keep the hollow eyes despite the fact the witch has eyeballs uh, but I wanted to do something more magical uh, with the eyes uh, similar to how I'm doing with the potions here where I am using different effects in Photoshop to give them a more bright appearance so they stand out considering they are the main weapon of the creeper witch but the magical solution within them cannot be contained and will glow a lot brighter than the rest of the glass bottle. Uh, I wanted to have a shine on the bottle, a way where it would look not too 
realistic and have a more cute cartoony vibe that goes well with the rest of the character. I find having an even balance between uh, the detail you put and the style you're using to create the character is always very important. Uh, and doing this gave me a great idea for the eyes where there would just be these two glowing pink menacing pink glowing eyes um, in the hollow sockets of the creeper witch's face and it just gives it more of a possessed by magic look rather than a dead look in the eyes of my body has been resurrected like a zombie feel like you've seen with the creepers before um, and I'm really, really happy with how this has turned out so far. I'm thinking maybe I want it as a sticker. Let me know if you guys would like this as a sticker. I could put it on my red bubble. Despite the fact that I made the body very smooth and the legs very fluffy, I wanted to have a fluffy effect with the rest of the greens all over the body of the creeper witch character and I also used uh, one or two uh, different shades of green than I did on the first creeper uh, in order to give it more of a lighter variety uh, when I would uh, fuse it all together um, so that the magical purple cape would contrast more Um, and I really like the effect this smudge tool does. It makes everything look fuzzy and kind of like clouds and it works well for the creeper um, and it's also a lot easier. Um, personally for me I was able to get these done quite quickly which made me very happy. Because of all the magic and light coming from the potions and the eyes I decided I'd want some uh, shading within the creeper's design, give it a little more pizzazz, um, and that way the light coming from the eyes and the potions don't look out of place. This also gives my creeper the uh, effect that it's going to battle and will fight for the glory of magic and its spores will scatter throughout the land creating more creepers and then evolving into creeper witches. <gasps> Pokemon Minecraft evolutions. Oh, I wonder how that would look. Maybe you could do it how with like the evolutions have different stones. If you give a creeper a witch's hat or a witch's potion, it will turn into a creeper witch. Oh, I like that idea a lot. I really do. Now that most of the shading is almost done, I really like the effect it gives off. As you can tell where the light from the environment is coming from. I'm not going to do a whole environment behind this creeper because that's going to take a lot and there's quite a bit of detail in this and I don't want to draw a complete environment because I want to get this uh, done by today, tomorrow at the latest. So let me know what you think in the comments or if you have any ideas on what I could fuse together, maybe creepers with something else or two new monsters entirely. Let me know, I really want to do more of these uh, and that's everything in this video.
creeper's gone from this sad, lonely, I need a hug creature to this more confident, slightly magical, possessed witch creeper of I will do. Uh, and that's everything in this video. Uh, you can check out my other artwork on my Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. I also have a website. All links are down in the descriptions below or just type in Carly Stration uh, and you should find me. Have a Minecrafty day! Goodbye!